In my last video, we understood the role of ice pack. In this particular video, I, Dr. Payal, your own physiotherapist, will guide you everything about hot pack. Why to use it, how to use it, and most importantly, when to use it. First, let us understand what is hot pack and how to use it. Like ice pack, hot pack is readily available in the market in the form of heat gel pack, electric hot bag or moist heat. They are reusable ones and very easy to apply. I generally prefer recommending or using electric hot bag as it is very effective and safer to use. Hot water shower, hot wax bath, sun bath, sauna, even these are form of heat therapy. Hot pack should never be applied directly on the skin. Always wrap it in a cloth and then place it on the skin. Always keep the hot pack on the injured area and never keep the part on the hot pack. It can be used frequently like 3 to 4 times in a day but the duration should not be more than 15 to 20 minutes. Avoid hot pack if you have any allergy or sensitivity towards heat or any burns or open wounds on that area. Avoid hot pack after any physical activity or if you have fever. Now let us understand the most important question when to use a hot pack. The way hot pack actually works is much opposite to cold pack. Like I said in my last video, cold pack is used during the first two to three days of injury. And post that and later on we use hot pack. That is after four to five days of injury. Also the swelling should subside completely and then start using hot pack. Hot pack increases fresh blood circulation to the injured area, thus helping our body in faster healing. And that increased blood flow helps in restoring our movements, thus reducing muscle tightness, muscle spasms, sprains or strains. Signing off with a thought, many receive advice, but only the wise ones profit from it. Hope these two videos benefited you and helped you to be clear about hot pack and cold pack. Coming back next time with a video on breathing exercises. Till then, take very good care of yourself, eat happily, smile fully and move correctly.